Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Fenna. I'm a full-time photographer here in the Netherlands specialized in baby and newborn photography. And today I'm going to make a new prop for the studio. It's actually an existing item that most of you might know and have at home. Um, it's the, here you go, IKEA doll bed. Um, I've actually taken the cardboard out, uh, but normally you would have this inside. I think when you buy it, it includes like a little blanket and a little pillow as well. So here we are in IKEA and this is the infamous bed. So here it's 15 euros. Uh, we bought it a few years ago for my daughter um, and we're going to buy her a new one because I'm going to take this one to the studio. But first I'm going to change it up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to take out the piece of cardboard uh, because it's damaged. Um, and here you can see how easily it breaks. Um, so I advise you to replace this with real wood, like just a piece of real wood, strong wood. Um, because yeah, you don't want to have a newborn lying in the bed or a toddler sitting on top of the bed and then it cracking. Uh, and this is just really easy to break. So I'm going to take this one out. We're not going to use it. Um, and this I'm going to paint with my Annie Sloan chalk paint, uh, not sponsored of course, but I've used this paint before for some furniture in our home and I have a lot left over. It's the color duck egg blue, which I think is really pretty for both boys and girls. I also have the Annie Sloan chalk paint wax, which is clear, just to finish off the paint. And I have a special brush, also by Annie Sloan. The person who sold me this paint was really good at upselling brushes, apparently. Uh, but I think you can use other brushes as well. Have some newspapers. Yeah, so I'm gonna start paint it and maybe have it look a little bit rustic. Um, and then I'm gonna use it in the coming days during session. So I'm gonna show you clips of me using the bed and uh, maybe show you some editing and the final photos. Uh, I have my kids here at home because it's my daughter's winter break. Um, it's very stormy outside, but we're gonna go and play outside, but it's really stormy. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to um, change up this IKEA bed. Uh, and show you and um, so yeah the kids might help me paint or you might hear them in the background at some point the bed is painted it was actually quite easy to paint the chalk paint is really easy to get out of your clothes as well or off your hands when you stain yourself accidentally but anyway it's drying right now it's drying super fast so I can always apply like a second layer uh, maybe use some sandpaper to give it like a distressed look but I might just leave it like this for now and then I can always change it in the future um, but I think it turned out really nice. Uh, yeah, the color is called duck egg blue, but it's kind of like a green color. Um, so I really like it. Now I'm just going to wait for some sessions. Tomorrow I have two newborn sessions. So I'm probably going to use it with at least one of them.
So we're buying some wood to put in the doll bed. I think this is the good size and then my husband will just make it a little bit shorter and it's a good quality massive wood. I'm not quite sure what the price is but I think around 8 euros, 8-9 eight, euros. So yeah, I'm gonna put this in the bed so that the toddlers can sit on it. Here I'm in the studio again. I have a piece of wood with me. My husband made it exactly in the same size as the uh, cardboard that was originally in the IKEA bed. Um, this is a lot stronger, a lot thicker, so I'm really curious to see if it fits. And then it's a lot stronger and safer when kids want to sit on the bed. It's the moment of truth. Here we've got the IKEA bed. Here's my piece of wood. Yeah. attempt failed it's just a tiny little bit too long if I use all my strength and push it in I'll probably destroy the bed so I have to take a little piece off yes people I did it it fits so now it's time to make the bed So yes, the bed is green, so you might think, okay, does it fit with the pink? I think it does. I think it's really cute. Little bed. Yeah, I did get to use the little IKEA doll bed during uh, my previous newborn session with the little girl. She was wide awake, wide awake when we put her in the bed, which is nice. She was sleeping before. We took some really lovely sleeping photos on the beanbag in a basket. Uh, but then when we transitioned her to the bed, it was actually her feeding time as well. So she woke up, so the, she's awake in the photos, but that's fine. And then she drank a little bit and she stayed awake for a little bit longer. Uh, so we took lovely photos and uh, she got to lie in the bed. Uh, now a little boy is coming. Okay, so for now I've just put some fabric on the bed, like a little pillow and a blanket. Uh, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to use it like this. Like I can take a photo from the top, looking cute. Uh, maybe from this side. I think it looks nice. Uh, when you put a baby on a prop, make sure that there is a spotter. So someone sitting right next to her, for example, on that side. Um, having the hands on the baby or on this side might be easier. Uh, so when she starts moving, she won't roll off the bed. Because of course, there's always a chance a newborn moves and that uh, they can fall off. What I did with the little girl earlier, I used a wrap around her. And I actually um, secured it on this side with a knot. And this is very soft, stretchy material. 
but then he's really like stuck to the bed so he cannot uh, roll out of the bed um, mom and dad would still be close uh, so I think this looks really cool it's funny but because of the green color of the bed the gray blanket almost looks green as well <laughs> looking cool I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Have a lovely day. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. Then I'll see you in the comments and you'll see me in my next video. Bye-bye.